Happy third trimester! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be everything we got up to from week 26 to 28. I had a couple of days away in Surrey with my auntie and my sister. Ryan and I had a lovely night away in Reading as well. And yeah, I just want to give you an update on my bump, any symptoms I've been having. And of course, I went to, um, to go through hypnobirthing. Everything is time stamped in the description box below. And I hope you enjoy this video. At 28 weeks, baby is 35 and a half centimeters or 13.8 inches. So this is equates to the size of a cucumber or a large aubergine, and that is a measurement from the head to the heel. If baby were to be born at 28 weeks, there is an 80 to 90 percent chance of survival although 10% likelihood of there being long-term health difficulties. Baby's skeleton is now completely formed. His brain is rapidly developing and he's starting to practice his sucking reflex. His skin is starting to look a lot less wrinkled and a lot more like what it's likely to look like at birth. I tend to walk the dogs at 7.30 in the morning and or these dogs are coll collies and this is the first morning that it's been light at 7.30 so that means that spring is coming and with spring comes baby so really excited symptoms wise I haven't really felt anything different I've got loads of energy I'm waiting for that tired face to kick in I know it's coming but I'm at the moment I'm all good I am still having that hip pain at night when I fall asleep for a couple of hours I wake up and it's like jolts me awake and I take it only takes like 10 seconds for me to move around and change position and it's okay then and I'm also getting just to the side of my belly button about a 10 pence coin like size of like stretchy pain and it's just below the skin and it almost feels quite bruised. I don't know what it is, but it tends to happen at night when I've had a bit too much to eat or if I've been on my feet for too long. I just feel it's just uncomfortable. Um, it's just like a general like burny, bruised pain. But that's it for symptoms. I haven't had anything new, anything different. I haven't had any Braxton Hicks for these last two weeks. I did previously. I think it's probably down to dehydration because I'm drinking a lot more water now. I'm noticeably drinking more water, so it could be down to dehydration. But generally, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm just going to drive home now, drop the dogs off, and then I'll go through my week, what we've been up to, and tell you a little bit about the course I've just done. I've been looking at some summer houses to go at the bottom of the garden, so this is one that I'm very interested in. I'd like somewhere for Ryan's weights to go that's not in the house, nice at the bottom of the garden for somewhere for him to go and train. And then we went and spent a night in Reading. This was for Ryan to do an arm wrestling competition, but it was so nice for us both to get away. No baby talk, it was just the two of us again. Nice. We went to Honest Burgers for some really good greasy pre-workout food, ready for his arm wrestling comp the next day. Ryan has been arm resting for about two, maybe going on three years now, and he is doing amazingly. As you can see, he's won all of these, and therefore he's got the left arm champion belt. So I'm incredibly proud of him. Surprisingly for his size, he's actually really, really good at it, and he always surprises people. And yeah, very, very proud of him for this. Happy third trimester! I am 27 and one days today. So we're in our third trimester, which is just crazy. I did a five and a half hour drive to Surrey yesterday, which normally takes about three hours. So that wasn't pleasant. And spent the day with my like godmother slash auntie and my sister. Uh, it was so nice though, cause she could feel him kicking loads and he's grown a lot since we were last together in South Africa. So it was really special. Today I'm watching my sister play netball. She's got a netball match 
and that's really good like I feel like I want to play as well it looks so much fun but um I did start netball back in 2020 just before we got married but then obviously with lockdown and everything I never really started back up again after the match we're going to go back it's England Wales game tonight so we're going to watch that and then tonight we've got a reservation in a Turkish restaurant which is called Shiraz in Red Hill I've been there once before and it's really really good so that'd be nice and then yeah drive home tomorrow morning because I've got to get back to Philly for 10 a.m. hypnobirthing course I just hope the traffic isn't as bad as it was yesterday because it should take about three hours but yesterday took about five and a half so and I've got we're leaving at six so I'm giving myself four hours to get home so that's not too bad Any other flavours you like? Uh, what is it? The Amushba. It's a fritters The hypnobirthing course was so so good. It was really really interesting. At the start, at the very start, the trainer Hannah asked us to put down words that described how we felt about birth at the moment, and these are the ones that I said. First of all, it's pain, contractions, sleep deprivation, excitement, tearing, examinations drugs, hospital, emergency, and FOMO, which is fear of missing out. So this is the only thing that I think I'm the only one that felt or brought up initially, um, but everybody else agreed with it. It's like this fear of, I've seen some really positive birth videos and I've heard some positive birth stories, um, but it's like a fear of not having that and not having that like euphoric feeling once you've given birth. So yeah, that's one of the big things for me. But during the course, we ran through all of the feelings that we all felt, why we felt them, and she really went in depth on how birth works and how your body works throughout birth and why the pain you're feeling shouldn't be looked at as a negative thing. It's like, and replacing the words like pain with um, sensation or contractions with um, surges. So by changing the language, your mind starts to feel a bit more comfortable with it. There was a lot of work, work around um, birth partners and how they can speak for you and things that they can do to help control your environment or protect your cave, is how she likes to call it. It was it was really good, it was really interesting. I, I was on my own, I didn't have Ryan there, he was in work, um, but it did help me is my own mind. At the end of the course, she asked us to, to describe how we felt about birth now. And these are things I said, I'm excited. I'm keen to get organized and ready for it. Um, I feel a lot calmer, more prepared, and I feel really empowered. And like I can have the birth that I really want. Hannah gave us a workbook that we can go through. And this is just kind of talking about everything that we did through the course. 
it gives me the paperwork to be able to show Ryan and read through it and it makes sense on paper. Uh, we also had a little goodie bag and inside the goodie bag we had a face mask which is lavender and chamomile. Tea, a little tea light, and some affirmations. So this isn't my cup of tea normally. Um, this is something that I tend to steer away from. It's a bit cringy. I'm about to read some of these out to you. Women everywhere are giving birth alongside me. I am excited to give birth. My birth partner knows how to support me. I am ready to give myself a positive birth experience. I'm ready to meet my baby. So those are affirmations, so you repeat them. I don't know, for me it's a little bit cringy, it's a little bit woo -ah, but I've got them if I need them, I suppose. So yeah, that's the introduction into the number of things I've had. And I'm completely sold. I really want one of those amazing, calm, relaxing births that I can, my baby can come into this world and just be like, just happy and chilled rather than trauma and stress. And I don't want it to be a negative feeling or thought going forward for the rest of my life where I suffer from BTSD or um, it causes postnatal depression. I'm going to try and stay away from that as much as I can and I think this course is going to help me do that. Yeah, I've seen guys show up to parties, heterosexual okay. pickup artists, show up to parties in Harry's dresses because they think that they can replicate what a Harry Styles or what a Machine Gun Kelly can do. They look like weirdos. Yeah. Machine Gun Kelly is famous. There's one other part. Mm -hmm. At 28 weeks, it's quite normal for somebody to put on around 19 or 20 pounds and I weigh 76.3 kgs, which is 22 pounds of weight gain. So slightly ahead of the game, but I feel okay. I don't feel too bad in my body at the moment. Baby is kicking a lot. He's very active, especially if I'm lying down or if I'm like in the bath, I can really feel him and see him moving. And I am carrying him quite low, uh, which I think is quite normal for carrying boys but um, it just feels really, really low and it hasn't changed throughout my pregnancy. So I wonder if it is the difference between a boy and a girl. I'll just show you my bump quickly. I've got that line here, which I've been told isn't stretching. It is just a change in the melatonin of the skin. And where I was mentioning earlier, it's around here that I've been getting that tight stretching feeling. And my belly button is just about to go, I think. I don't think it'll be long before that pops out. I've been using Shea Butter still regularly and it keeps my stomach nice and moisturised. I still haven't bought a lot in the way of baby stuff, but I have been gifted quite a lot of clothes and some toys from friends. Uh, I'm gonna have to get used to this colour explosion. So my house is very much grey, black, white, neutral colours. And the stuff that I've been given is just so colourful. So I'm probably gonna have to get out over myself about that one. Um, so I've got loads of washing to do, loads of clothes to sort out to decide what I wanna keep and what I'm, I'm happy to let go. I did also get an exercise ball. Uh, this has been useful if towards the end of the day my back can get a bit tired because I'm like sat in a chair like this whereas the, the um, ball allows my hips to kind of sit backwards um, which is really good for the lower back and I'm using that a lot more now as well also doing some figures of eights and just kind of swaying and rolling on the ball I'm not bouncing too much yet in fear of water breaking it's a bit early oh and I also had a really good deal on a photo shoot so I'm not somebody that likes um, that sort of thing. The thought of having somebody take photos of me and my bump is kind of cringy. But the deal was £90 for four different shoots. The first one is the maternity shoot, which I'm kind of cringing over, so I'm a bit nervous about. The second is newborn baby photos. Third one would be when the baby first sits up. And then the last one is the cake smash at a year old. So. I thought that was a really good deal. Even if I only go for three of those, I still think it's a really, really good deal. And I, people I've spoken to said that they regret not having their photos taken when they're pregnant um, and because they miss their bumps so much. So maybe I will and maybe I'll just keep them for myself as like a personal momentum. Cravings are still pan of chocolat in the morning. I'm trying to have a bit less of them. 
and I'm still taking my Pregnacare multivitamins. I am still reading the same two books I was last week, I haven't really got through them, which is the Positive Pregnancy book and Preg Pregnancy, Birth and Beyond. Ryan does seem a lot better the last couple of days, um, obviously I was a bit concerned last week or when I last did the video, uh, but I do think the night away in wedding helped, we had a lot of laughs and it was just such a good time together and it was less of the baby stuff, more of the me and him and yeah so I, I do think things are getting a bit better he's like cuddling me a bit more on the belly um and i think he's getting more excited now so that's good that's everything for this video um thank you for joining me for my 26 to 28 week update i next week i've got my midwife appointment and a 4d scan booked in so please subscribe if you'd like to catch that and thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video